what's up everyone today Tyler and I just went to dinner we are gonna ride down at um, at the beach down the main beach road down here in Hernando County and um, we're gonna show you all the devastation and what all happened down here um, so shout out to Tyler for driving so that I could film and um, let's turn around and see what all we can see all right, everyone. This is what was that Shoreline? Is this Shoreline Boulevard? I think, shoreline. I think this is Shoreline Boulevard, guys. Um, <clears throat> now it has been a week. Tomorrow, today's Thursday, the third, and um, it happened last. I think it came through here last Thursday night into Friday. So I didn't get out quick enough to get some some videos for you guys, but. I'm out today with my husband. <laughs> so far, it doesn't look like much on the road over here. Look over there. See that? The trees down. Oh, there's a lot of trees down on the left, guys. Pay attention to the left. Oh, they got road work. Now, up here on the right, guys, is the Silver Dolphin, where me and Tyler eat at a lot and um, we just recently came out here and took, brought Haley out here. Um, I'm curious to know how it's going to look. A lot of businesses lost everything. I know down in St. Petersburg and um, Madeira Beach and Treasure Island, they all lost everything. I was curious about them that neighborhood. Oh, you see the truck? Do you see the trucks going through with their trailers, grabbing people's garbage? Oh, wow. Last time we had a hurricane, the places to the left, guys, had had a lot of damage. Henriette and I took you down there. But we came out the day after. Um, what does that say? Laundry traffic? Laundry, showers, restrooms, and laundry trailers. Oh, yeah, I knew they were doing that. Is this the silver dolphin right here on the right? No, this is the lazy lizard. Oh, okay. Look at it though. Oh, well, that's they're open. Look they're... at all, look at all the debris laying around everywhere. Oh wow! Right and left, guys. Oh my goodness! Look on the left. That's terrible. I'm sure that the um, scrappers and People with trailers have already been through here looking for stuff, seeing what they can salvage. A lot of times, wood wood items wood um, can withstand water. Some of the wood. Um, we should probably hit one of them neighborhoods. Oh wow! Look at all that. Look at that china cabinet. Oh, that's awful. That's part of living down here, though. They know there's a chance, and it's it's been happening a lot lately. Did we already pass the silver dolphin? Oh, I have. Or is this it here? Here it oh, is. That's it here. All right, so right here on the right, guys. It looks fine. There goes the mermaid from Rogers Park. Wow, a big old heavy mermaid. The mermaid's still there. <laughs> Rogers Park Mermaid, guys, floated away. Look at Where are they at? Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, well, I should be filming with this camera, too. They had public restrooms on the right-hand side, guys. Devastation is crazy. We'll have to pull into um, into um, Rogers Park. See if they got their mermaid back yet. They're going to have to figure something out for that mermaid because um, she floated right down the river on that heavy pedestal. Mm -hmm. Look at all that. Oh my gosh. Whoa. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, wow. Restaurants just have stuff piled everywhere. Oh, my goodness. I wonder what all the tents back there were for. We got a huge power in there. Really? Oh, my gosh. 
Fernando Beach Club. Oh my gosh, up here on the left, guys. Oh my. Trespassers will be shot. It will be shot. Trespassers will be shot. Left and right, guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. Oh, I feel so bad for him. Oh, I feel so bad for these people. It's on both sides of the road, guys. Wow. Oh, my, Tyler. Oh, this is heartbreaking. And they're still... Oh, they're still pulling things out. Look at up and down these roads. All of their devastation. Guys, pray for these people. What a disaster. Oh, I smell something burning. Do you smell it? Oh my gosh ripped drywall right out of their house. There's a lot for sale, Tyler. You want to buy it? I'd buy it. <laughs> no way. Oh my goodness. Well, wow, some of the stuff that they're throwing out. Some of it looks good. I mean, some of that wood dress, like that old antique wood look a dresser, it looked really nice. It's it's sad, and people are just throwing everything out. <coughs> oh my goodness! I guess the insurance companies have to come down and go through their pile of rubble. You think so? I think I would just be crying. I mean, we got blessed. We really got lucky that we didn't get a lot of this. It makes me want to cry. Washers and dryers and everything. You can see the boats on TV that people had lost. Boats. Oh, did you see Santa Claus? Uh -huh. Santa Claus was back there. Oh my gosh. Oh, uh, I see stuff that I would like to have. <laughs> you brought me to the wrong place, Tyler. Oh, it sucks that one person's devastation, you know, and all this stuff they're throwing out. Some of it looks pretty good. Trump 2024. See that big old sign? It, the Trump sign held up. Oh no, look at that. Wow. They were just building this. Some of these places are beautiful. Oh. There is the ocean. sad. <coughs> I would, I would definitely be crying. Can't get out? Oh my gosh, look up there guys. There's no way out. How are you, where are you going? Must be kind of some kind of business because look at all them chairs. Oh my gosh! You know, 
it's sad. I see people with a U-Haul right now in their yard. And they were warned to leave, right? Yeah. They were... They had to evacuate. But you would have thought that people would have gotten a U-Haul and, you know, put all their stuff in the U-Haul. Put all their stuff in the U-Haul and got some of this good stuff out of here. There's so much stuff. Show that stuff to the insurance company. I guarantee you there's, there's, what do you, what do you call it, looters? I guarantee you there's looters out there or people coming out, scrappers coming out to get the metal and to, um, to try and get some good stuff because th these people are throwing away some good stuff. their devastation and they don't want people like us or other people coming out here trying to take their stuff. Oh my goodness. We're all crooked here. I 
I'm going to have to try to get a video clip of, um, of the mermaid going down the river, guys. I just, it was just crazy when I seen the video. There goes the mermaid from Rogers Park. Uh, I'm going to have to try to screen record just to get you guys a copy of that. Over to the right is more bathrooms. They put out some porta potties. They got shower, local showers. Oh, look at this place over here. Holy shoot. Wow. Wonder how many boats got ruined. Wow. Wonder how many boats got ruined. Oh man, look at them boats. Holy crap. Oh. They were just stored. Had nowhere to go with them. Oh man. You can smell fire. People are burning stuff. I guess they're burning some of this stuff. Right out there, through them woods, is the water. And that water came all the way up through here. You know, when we first moved here, we almost bought on this side of 19. Not, not down here on the water, of course. But we almost bought this side of 19. I keep, you guys keep going crooked. This is no outlet. Oh, it is? they built their houses up on stilts. I mean, the house made it. That house made it there. But sometimes them stilts break and then the whole house comes tumbling down. Oh, my. So if your house is on stilts, bring everything upstairs. Look at all this. this road. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Just look to the left and right, guys. It's people's devastation. Every road you look down. I should have that on for the roads. Spring Hill, Florida, Hernando, down at Hernando Beach area. So this is right in our neighborhood. Not in our neighborhood, but really, really close to our neighborhood. Luckily, we got on the other side. We got on the east side of 19. There is just so much stuff out here. I bet more people will be building on stilts. And um, I bet some people just decide to move out of here, just get out of here. Are we at a dead end? Yeah. Oh no. Right behind these houses. Oh my gosh, that house is beautiful. But look at the cost. The cost to live here. You lose everything on a hurricane. And hurricanes happen all the time down here in Florida. All the time. You guys are seeing it on the front camera, but I am recording a little bit on this camera. Just so much stuff.
blessed, huh, Tyler? Mm-hmm. Very blessed. they get major help they're going to be going bankruptcy because they're not going to be able to make it I think our radio station yesterday had um, 105.3 oh goodness had um, like a te like a telephone telephone I can't say a telethon thing where that all, anybody that donated um, anybody that donated there was somebody else that was going to double the donations up to $10,000 um, and all that money is staying in the Tampa Bay area that is our area Tampa Bay um, and all that money was supposed to stay here I know other places need the money too but our you know, Florida needs it. Oh my gosh, Tyler, you should have pulled in there. Oh my gosh, guys, you just missed it. I don't know if you got to see it or not. All the church pews, all the church pews were out in the parking lot. Oh my gosh. But anyways, if anybody can donate, that would be awesome. You know, don't this. I guess you would have to look it up and be careful. Put the boats all the way over in the woods. Oh, no way, Tyler. Slow down. Boats in the woods, guys. I got it on the other camera. Oh, my gosh. Guys, these are boats out there. The little white things that you can see are boats that when the water was up nine foot, the boats ended up floating out there in the woods. And then when the water receded, they were stuck there. There's actually, a, I think, three or four of them. There's one coming up here on the left. And um, you can tell it's over on its side. It's hard to tell where they came from. People are going to be searching for their boats. Look. That is crazy. I don't even know how they would get out there and get it. I guess they have a tow truck, a boat tow truck. I don't know. Crazy. People's like, where'd my boat go? Look at this one right here on the side of the main road. Oh my gosh, they got that one. That is crazy. Where did it come from? It, it just all water. The, it I know it just floated here. Oh my gosh. Did you guys see the boats? Holy cow. I feel like my cell phone is what we were looking out the car window in, the front window. I feel like it's got a better picture. 
but I'm trying to film with the other camera also for you guys. I can't believe the boats just floated. Oh my gosh. I bet you insurance companies go bankruptcy. I bet you they, they, they have no choice. I don't know how they're going to cover this. But probably, probably people down on the islands probably pay a fortune for homeowners insurance. Dang, babe. So all this was underwater. Everything to your left and everything to your right is completely underwater. Where those boats come from is a mystery. You can still see the water on this side. Oh, wow. I'm surprised we're not seeing a lot more. Now, I have no clue how, how the mermaid at Rogers Park got picked up and just come floating down the river. Like, it's just crazy. The video that I seen, how it went, just went right down the river. And it wasn't, it didn't sink because it's concrete. Now, this is Jenkins Creek here. This is where me and Henriette went last time. Um, remember that guy was spinning around and in the water around the back? So right here to the right is that is that place. Now there's a tower up here. I wonder if the tower is still standing. Right over here is the bridge. You're gonna turn down in there. The bridge. The Jenkins Creek Bridge. If you want to. Yeah. Oh, they got bathrooms out here too. Yes, you're not allowed up in the there. All that was underwater. Tanya, that's where we were. Up. You can't go in there. Oh, you can't go in there. Okay, well we can't go into Jenkins Creek, which was on the left. Um. All this, this whole road in front of us, guys, was underwater completely. And I think, I, I want to say they got nine foot surge, but I can't, I'm not exactly positive it was nine foot. It might have been more. I know all the way up the, um, up the coast here. Um, Homosassa got hit hard. Um, Cedar Key. Guys, I took you guys to Cedar Key. Me and Henriette went there. We went to a little cemetery. And uh, we went to a museum there and a couple other things. It's been a while and um, it, 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 it's devastated. I mean, the buildings, the hotels are even gone. It's devastation completely. Well, it looks pretty good down there, but they probably done cleaned up. Every time I turn this other camera off, I, I see something. that I want to show. Oh, all the way down there is a piles and piles of stuff. I would be crying the whole time that I was doing this. Oh my gosh. Would you cry about this if this was us? You wouldn't cry at all? No. Can we get down into, um, right here into, to see if the mermaid's back? Right here is Rogers Park, guys. And, um, I don't know if we can get in here or not. Nope. Alright, well, we're not getting in. So, off to your left. He's going to turn around and I'll film it on the right. Um, I bet you the mermaid is down in there somewhere because it's in somebody's yard. I've seen another video. It's in somebody's yard and the guy says, they're going to play hell getting this thing out of my yard. Um, right over there, they had a mermaid. You know, they got their mermaids everywhere now. And that mermaid was floating down the, the river. I'm going to show you that clip right now. If I, if I can possibly get it, I'm going to show it to you right now. All right, guys. So what did you think about the mermaid? It was, that's just crazy. Look at that car down in there. It looks like they might have pulled it out of the water. Oh, there's so many people that need help. Look at that down. I'm looking down the side roads with the other camera guys. Oh, it's horrible. I 
I know that somebody told me that Pine Island Road was blocked off. It probably still is. I don't know about Bayport, though. Look at that down those roads. in the middle of the night people are coming coming by in their trucks just grabbing what they want oh here's the um the christian camp the christian camping grounds on the right hand side guys right up in there these were all new houses right here well i don't know it kind of looks like it's got Splashing mud on the side of the buildings. Look, that's bathrooms, so yeah. There's bathrooms right there. Now we got a bunch of woods here. Those side roads were all piled and piled with stuff. Oh, I don't remember. I, I'm sure it had stuff outside. Last time. I don't think it was this bad. I'd have to go back and look at my video that Henriette and I did. I should have went out the day after. and, and But, I mean, it's, you know, the day after they wouldn't have had much done. But we would have got into places. We would have got into Jenkinsburg, like, you know, Bayport. I, can you imagine what that pier is going to look like again? At Bayport. Demolition, cleaning, and drywall. Somebody's got signs up for. Everywhere, guys. I mean, everywhere. It's it, it looks like this. I've seen videos of caddies. One of my favorite restaurants down on Treasure Island, or yeah, is it Treasure Island or Madeira? I think it was Treasure Island. Um, Reddington Beach. That's what it is. I love this Mary's Fish Camp. I love going to um, going to caddies and eating. It was a nice place right on the beach. Um, it is, it's got, it's wiped out. It's cleaned, it's gutted. The, some of the walls are still standing, but other than that, it's gutted and it's full of sand. The roads down in Pinellas County were full of sand. They had to plow the roads like if they was to plow snow, they were plowing sand off the main roads. And there's piles and piles of sand. It's crazy. You know, the, the best thing about this is the world's not, not, maybe not the world, but neighborhoods, people are coming together to help each other, which is awesome because that don't happen. You know, I, I noticed that, and, and this might, this might hurt a lot of, a lot of Floridians, but I've noticed that the friendlier people are from up north. So, you know, I, I, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like some of my neighbors are, Oh, look at all this. Or, um, the, the ones from up north are friendlier. Oh my gosh. So, Pine Island is closed for repairs. The road's open though. Why don't we ride out? You don't want to? Look at, look at this. This is, oh my gosh, Bayport Inn. That's from the restaurant. Yeah, I know. Oh, I was just telling Lisa that I wanted to try that place and eat there. We've never tried it. Might have to wait a little while now. Do you think? I think so too. Oh wow. Well. That's awful. Dang. You guys are all over the place.
always up here in the window. <laughs> Every time we turn a corner, you guys, you guys hit the, hit the um, thing and go sideways. Well, guys, pray for all these people. Pray for the people all over the world that are in devastation. I know in North Carolina, there's communities like in the valley that flooded, and the and the reason they flooded was because they're in the valley. And then what, what was it? The mountains, Tyler? The mudslides. The mount. All the water was coming off the mountains, which completely flooded these these homes. I, I know that I seen one girl on the news. She said her baby just got lifted up in the air and was and flew away. And um, I think her husband did too. But they ended up finding them both alive. And um, she said she had to throw herself onto her other child and um, to save him. But luckily the whole family came out alive. They found that baby after it was picked up and flown away right out of its um, little bassinet bed. Um, they found it and it had a scratch on the side of its face. That was it. Thank God. God must have had his arms wrapped around that baby. Now, we're coming down here, going back, to back out towards 19, guys. And um, there's neighborhoods all to the right. Like down all these little roads, there's neighborhoods. Omar has a place out here. And I know that he um, he did make a video recently on, on some of the storm. He went down to Pinellas. But um, he lives down one of these one of these side roads. Or his house, his mom's house is down there. Anyways, which road is this? Oh, okay. We just came from there, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so there's houses up here. I'm curious to know how bad the damage was up in here. You want to hit one of these side roads once we get up in here? I know that a lot of these roads to the right are on canals. So, and that the water, you know, the water came up high over the canal walls. Oh, there's, there's a neighborhood there. Hit the next one, yeah. A lot of these are mobile homes, too, guys. Oh, look, I see one house that looks like it's totally abandoned. It might have been abandoned before this. Oh, what the heck's that? Somebody's wheelchair on the side of the road. That one right there looks like it's abandoned. I don't think you don't think it is? Right I don't see piles and piles of stuff here. Uh, I probably get up here. Well, Omar's house is up here somewhere and he got flooded. But he was on the canal. Yeah, if you plan on moving to Florida, do not move to the west side of Commercial Way US 19. Go out Just go down. They got branches and stuff down. I don't really see piles of stuff though. In the neighborhoods. No, I don't think I got water damage going on there. Well there's a canal right there. Yeah, but not a Turn left. still the 
devastation is still the same. But, you know, no matter what you lost, to, to the person, the devastation is still the same. Maybe not compared to um, some of the items, but, I mean, you know, your items are precious to you. Everybody's stuff is precious to them. So a loss is a loss. What's what's that? Like a little motorcycle? Where? I don't know. That person's on it, I guess. Scooter. No, it's a cute scooter. So cute. Oh wow. All right, so we are back out to I think it's Cortez Boulevard on the beach side.